And today I am here to tell you that there is a new Twilight book! Oh my gosh, I cannot believe it. Stephanie Meyer has dropped a big bombshell on the whole Twilight fan base. I only found out about it like the day after the 10th anniversary. I knew that there was going to be something released on the 10th anniversary. She did announce something about it, but she said it was just going to be like extra material. However, she did not tell everybody that she was releasing a whole new Twilight book alongside the original Twilight book. A whole extra 400 pages. A whole freaking book, guys. A freaking new Twilight book. Now, when I say it's a whole new Twilight book, it is technically because it's a whole extra 400 pages and apparently there are different things that happen in it compared to the original Twilight book. But the genders have swapped. That's right, guys. Edward is a girl and Bella is a guy. Or a vampire. I don't know. I have read up on some of the names that are in it. So I think Edward is Edith and Jacob is Julie and Bella is Beaufort? Beaufort? Bo I don't know. Something like that. Now for me, I haven't been this excited over a Twilight book since I saw New Moon in cinema because A, there was no more Twilight books coming out. B, the films were wearing off on me and they just kind of went downhill to be honest. The books are so much better than the films. However, I really do like Breaking Dawn Part 2 with that twist in it because I wanted something more in the book. So when I did find out that Stephanie Meyer had released an extra 400 pages and re-released Twilight in one book, I was kind of like... Oh, wait, hold on a second. You're telling me there is a new Twilight book? A new book? Not the same, exactly the same as Twilight, but a new book. And then I read up on it and it was like, the genders are swapped and I was just kind of like, what? First impressions when I heard it, it wasn't so good. But then I kind of thought about it, like Edward being a girl and yeah, so like just seeing how men and women act differently when the threat is the opposite way around. I'm intrigued to how it will flow. I'm intrigued how it is going to be re like revamped and how things are going to play out. Does the female vampire decide to turn the, the male and they don't need the extra three books because it's already happened. I mean, to be honest, the whole series was about them getting married and, you know, turning into a vampire and... So here it is, guys. The new revamped Twilight. Doesn't look any different, does it? Not... doesn't look... what? What was that? You, you saw something? Oh, really? 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 Yeah, you did. It's called Life and Death Twilight Reimagined. Trying to get to the middle. Do, 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 do. There we go. So that much is Twilight. And that's the extra 400 freaking pages. Right there. Like, it's longer than Twilight. So something's going down in this. Something's going to be different. So before you jump to conclusions, no, this is not Midnight Sun with a different cover and a different name. It, uh, it is Twilight, reimagined, changed, genders changed. The only two characters that I think have escaped the gender change were Rene and Charlie. I love the cover, honestly. You know, complete different apple. Because I always thought like the red was, you know, resembled blood for the Twilight because they're vampires and they like to suck blood. But the green, maybe, maybe they stay human. Maybe, maybe something else happens. I don't know, we will we will have to see. The story of me getting this was actually quite funny. So the anniversary was the 5th, it was on Monday. I just read up on it on the Tuesday. I didn't think it was even out in the UK yet, but it was. So yesterday I was sat there on my laptop and I was like, yeah, I'm going to order this. And I looked on Amazon, it was 8 49 I was like, yeah, free postage, why not, let's do it. Um, but then I thought, no, wait, I could just go get it now and not have to wait for it to win the post. So I rang my store, rang my local store, checked the stock, and they were like, yeah, we have it in. She's like, oh, we've got loads in. I was like, okay, I'll come down now and just pick one up myself. So I did. I literally texted Katie, my best friend, and asked her if she wanted to come with me. Quickly pop, pop into town and see if I could buy the book. 
and she did not know what I was going into town for. I mean, I kind of wanted it to be a surprise for her as well. So when we got there, I was kind of like, oh, they don't have it. And then I saw like all of them laid down with this face up and I was like, wait, I'm confused. And then looked at it and I was like, wait, what? What is going on? What is this? Wow, <laughs> this is cool. This is awesome. And she was like, I'm so confused. What is it? What is it? And I was like, oh, it's Twilight. Just gender swapped. And she was like, I didn't get it. I was like, well, I'm getting it. Have you ever read a book and then been like, I just wish I could just reread that book for the first time? Because the 14 year old Katie was sat, I can remember sitting there all day reading Twilight and just like closing the book and being like, oh my gosh, I'm so excited and wanted to read the next chapter and just kept, I kept having little um, exciting shivers she would say of reading the book i love stephanie meyer's writing and i would so love it if she did like a sequel to the host there's rumors that she was doing it but i don't know if that's going to even happen i still don't know if um, midnight sun is even going to happen i hope it does let me know if you want midnight sun to happen because i would really like to see it from edward's point of view on the forward page here she puts hello lovely reader Again, happy anniversary and welcome to the new 10th anniversary bonus material. First things first, I'm so sorry. I know there is going to be a lot of wailing and teeth gnashing because this new bonus material is A, not entirely new, but mostly B, not Midnight Sun. There we go, guys. And she continues to explain why she's done it and what it's about. The fact that I can, you know, read Twilight again for the first time but different is really exciting for me. I mean as a 22 year old, eight years ago I read Twilight and now at 22 I get to relive it but reimagined. I cannot freaking believe it. Guys, there is a freaking new book on the block by Stephanie Meyer. It is the revamped version of Twilight. Go read it now if you want to. You don't have to. I'm going to. Goodbye. <laughs>